What's up, Pokemon fans? Yaku Cog coming right back at you with a thousand catch combo on the road. And what that really means is we're going to take our 999 catch combo and uh, just take a little tour on all the routes and see what's in the sky and what's the best uh, spawning place because this has to be some kind of benefit. And uh, 999 is the very max you can catch combo any Pokemon and I'm gonna go ahead and show you again oh I don't want this. I don't want you right now Dragon Knight I'm gonna run away from him yeah just one now here we go another Pidgey this is what I've been using to catch my thousand There we go. Right in the face. Should be able to get him. There we go. Okay. There's 999 again there, people. And, uh, if you're still not convinced, uh, do one more before I hit the road. And I only take here because, look at that. It didn't take long at all. Right there. There you are. You're tiny. You're just a tiny guy. Nice. See that cookie? Look how I pulled mine. Cookie's my dog, by the way. Alright. We're good. There you go. 999. That is the map. And uh, by this point, you should have at least four 100 level Pokemon. And if we check those out real quick, look at 10,000 CP up in the top, top right hand corner. 10,000 CP. 10,000 CP. Pikachu's not quite there yet. <laughs> But he is max level. And, uh, as for my Dragonite, it's almost at 10,000. And so, there's a little bit more to go. Two more levels, that should bump it up. And three more for Dragonite? Yeah. And that's how you get 10,000 CP Pokemon, which are pretty much invincible. Yeah. In this point in the game, you can pretty much battle anybody in the win. So, we're on Route 20 right now. We'll just take a little cruise. Let's see what's around the whole Route 20. There's another Pidgey. I don't want any more right now. I want to see what else we can find. Okay, that's Route 20. We're going to swoop over. You will need the ability to fly higher uh, to do any of this, and in order to obtain that, you're going to have to beat the Elite Four and the Pokey Champion. Um, after which, the method I have shown you to catch a thousand in the same spot uh, will work, and should work. But I'm pretty sure there's other places on the map. That's just the one that I I found the best personally. Now we're in Fuchsia City. So if we take a look here at a map. That's right here. And this is where you send Pokemon from the switch to your belt. It's here in Fuchsia City. So you want to keep that in mind. Alright. We're going to head off, and now Route 15. I am going to use a little shortcut here to get around this building without putting my Pokemon away. And if you want to skip that uh, without putting your, your Pokemon away, you can do the same thing. We'll put you in Vermilion City. Uh, wrong way. But you just head back this way. 
This is level 11. Let's go over here. Anything good, Mr. Mine? Look at that, another dragon name. So they appear around here too. Um, I don't think I'd settle on one right now unless it was shiny. Especially with how long it took me to catch all those pigeons. Okay. Cut out to the next row. Uh, let's check out where we got Zappoli over by that power plant. We should find something pretty good over there. Just hang this way. Oh, there's a pharaoh. Rat attack. Nothing special or shiny yet. Hello, way down there. Okay, Route 10. You want to get to Zapoids and you're just starting, you got, you got to have the surf. The surf technique. And you take this little river all the way down. Right here to the power plant. And inside you will find Zapoids. Very simple. It's also a good little route for catch combo of magic harp, barrel. Okay. No. Oh. Let me use my bag. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um. Lavender town. Maybe there's some good Pokemon flying around there. And we are now on Route 12. And then... Going around here, maybe spin. Seems to be my signature move to catch Pidgey. To spin it out. Jesus, that lasts forever. And there's a Pokeball. And another Pokeball. So many Pokeballs. I'll have to like those later. Route 13. Anything good on this route? So far, it seems like where I was at Route 20 was the best place to hunt. Oh, here's another one. Another Dragonite. And keep going. See if we can see a different kind of legendary beast here. Oh, back here again. Okay. So this is the other side of the first route that I escaped from. I was on this side, and now I'm on this side. So we have covered from Saffron City, Lavender Town, Vermilion City, and Fuchsia City. And so far, out of those, the best place to catch Legendary Birds, Dragonite, Charizard is Route 20, which is just before you hit the Cinnabar Island. And, uh, Speaking of that, let's go back to some bar Island for a second. Load away. Alright. Now let's go this way. This is Route 21. This should be pretty decent for spawning uh, legendary Pokemon because it's the spot just before you reach your hometown again. Because if you just head straight, this is Pallet Town. Now you are home. So this would be a pretty good route for legendaries too. 
see another Pidgey down there. Been seeing enough Pidgeys. Maybe that's why. So sometimes it doesn't always spawn Pokemon in the air. Sometimes it's on the ground too. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled. Let's pass Pallet Town. Let's check out Route 1. It's on Route 1. And remember, we got that 99 catch combo, so just waiting for something good to pop up. So far, it's been nothing but Dragonite. Oh, now we're in Vermilion City. Okay, let's check out the route to Route 22 and Indigo Plateau. Anything good around here? Oh, Pharaoh. Sparrow. Pharaoh, Sparrow. You know. Um. I know I keep using my map, but this is how I jump building. Now we're going to just jump right to the Indigo Plateau. Route 23. Maybe some some good things over here. Last on our list will be where we caught Mewtwo. We'll see what a 99, 999 catch combo does in there. I wish I could have got to a thousand. I was very disappointed. But you can only get 999. Oh, look at that. That. That is worth catching. Oh, I will come back here for that nether, nether king, that queen. Oh, that is awesome. I need one of those. Anyway, so, so far, that's been a cool spawn here. Because you need to usually get the moonstone to evolve those, and they have a low 4% spawn rate. Alright, let's go check out the plateau and then I'll come back here and break my thousand piggies with a uh, Nitter King. So what you're going to want to do to get Mewtwo is you're going to want to go up to Krillian City. Whoop, Pikachu, fly my way, Dragonite. Here we are, Krillian City. Whoop. And then you fly over here. The only thing is, you're gonna have to get off your, get off your Dragonite. I'll just put him away. Oh. I did not want to take you out either. Okay. Okay. So. This is where you get Mewtwo. And you can't get in here until you beat the Elite Four either. So check that out, Snorlax. That's nothing special. They usually pop up around here. We just use skin. Check out the water. We're gonna go right where Mewtwo is. Look at that. That's a poly world, but we're gonna run. Run away! Alright. What's up, fam? What's up, fam? Oh, I didn't want you right to run the But if you run away, it does not break your catch combo. If you try to catch the Pokemon, it will. So, if you want to lose your catch combo, that's a good way to do it. This is also where you can find Pokeballs and, uh, Ma another master ball if you're lucky you just go around these little light spots here and uh, golden raspberry and walk over the next one see another pokeball and we got over here 10 ultra balls see sometimes it gives you good things just gotta be willing to uh 
check it out. So it doesn't matter what ladder you take to get up here. Because after here, you're going to want to come all the way to the le top left hand corner ladder. Right here. And go down. And then you'll be stuck between two. You go down one more. Down here. Oh. And walk, want to walk all the way around. Grab it, that's not too bad. Want to come this way. And go left, up this little thing. And around. And you come down. And you got to use secret technique again, get on your surfboard, surf right here, and up on this plateau is Mewtwo. And after you get to Mewtwo, this is, you go outside the cave, come back in, and this is where Trainer Green will be. And if you open up your Poke Bag, what Trainer Green gives you is Mutanite X and Mutanite Y, which turns you into mega, mega version of Mewtwo, which is super awesome. So it's definitely worth doing. Now let's get out of this cave. Try to have a couple escape ropes. Get you out pretty quick. So... As it seems so far, Route 21 was the best place to catch legendary birds out of pretty much the whole map. And, uh, that's about it folks, that's what you get when you get max, max catch combos, not a whole heck of a lot, but I'm going to go back to the Sunbar Island, I'm going to use my catch combo to hopefully lure in a super legendary bird, and with the, with the catch combo again people, you do get a lot of shinies, so check this out. You get your shiny Pidgey, your shiny Pidgeotto, shiny Pidgeot, and then even more shiny Pidgey. So in total, eight. I got eight shiny Pidgeys for almost a thousand catch combo. And another Dragonite. So that's what happens after you catch it. Not a whole has a lot. But stay tuned to see what happens next.